Hi, I'm Mira from Flow with Mira. We are going to do a full body Pilates workout with special cute little weighted bangles. We're gonna use this around our wrist for extra arm work as well as the leg for extra leg work. So thank you Perkis Active for this cute little addition to my workout. If you do not have an access to them, no problem. Free weight will do the job or just you yourself on a mat is still gonna be a great Pilates workout. So let's go, let's get started and meet me on a mat. We're gonna start lying on our back here. So find our mat and lie supine. Lying on our back and I want you to just place yourself comfortably on the mat here. Feet are aligned with the sitting bone, parallel positioned, knees are pointing up, settle the pelvis, settle your body down onto the mat and just take a moment to always arrive on the mat. We breathe, inhale through the nose. Breathe out. Bringing your attention inward to your breath. And exhale, warming up your center as you deliberately engage the abdominal on the final part of your breath out. Let's do two more in breath. Last one. And let it go, okay. Let's take our arms up to the sky. I always like to start my workout with some good breathing. It's just taking myself to really arrive into what I'm supposed to do. So arrive on the mat, arrive in the room. Okay, let's get started now. Right, reach arms up to the sky here. Now let's lift the right arm up off, or right shoulder off the floor, and then just drop it down. And the other one up to the sky, and just drop it down. Inhale, we reach up to the sky. Exhale, so we're stretching the scapula out of the floor and we're just gonna release back on the floor and reach out and release. And reach out and release. You can actually abruptly release down to the floor. You don't have to control so much. Reach out and just drop it. One more each side, reach out and drop it. Last one, reach out and drop it, let's do two of them. Reach both arms up, both scapula off the floor and drop them down. <sighs> Inhale, and drop them down. <sighs> Inhale, you can also use a percussive breath to drop the shoulders down. <sighs> two more, and <sighs> last one. And <sighs> now keep the shoulder resting onto the floor. Turn your hand into a fist if you have the wristband. Open your arms out to the side as you in breath. Exhale, pull in the center as you bring the arms back above your shoulder. Inhale, we open the arms out to the side. Exhale, expanding the rib cage as the arms open out. Exhale, contract the rib cage as the arms arrive back onto the center, onto the middle. Arms out. Exhale. So make the arm movement meaningful. Connect the arms back into your center. Connect your arms back into your shoulder or with the shoulder. Two more, reaching out as you open. Exhale. Last one, reach them out as you open. Exhale and stay. Now keep the arms floating here and turn yourself into a fist so you can engage right into the armpit socket here. All right, rest the shoulder down, pound the curl. Take an in breath and press the feet down and you're gonna curl the tailbone up using the abdominal, roll the pelvis up, peeling the spine up, the hamstring, the back of your thigh is gonna start to kick on here as you come right up to the final bridge position, reach your thigh bone towards the knee Lengthen the neck away from the shoulder, inhaling here. Exhaling, roll the spine down gradually, vertebrae by vertebra, all the way down to the start position. And release and lengthen the tailbone towards the feet. Inhale, exhale, contract the abdominal so you can curl the tailbone up, 
then the leg muscle starts to kick in and the glutes start to finish up the final range of your bridge. Inhale, exhale, rolling down, melting down, lengthening down and softening right down to the mat in breath. Exhale, abs drawing in, hollowing the abdominal, then curling up, curling up, lengthening up, reaching the thigh bone away, inhaling, exhaling, rolling down. Take your time to roll down and really try to stretch every single vertebra right down to the floor, in breath. Exhale, make this pelvic curl meaningful, articulating up, reaching the pelvis away, in breath. Exhale, rolling down, articulating down, stretching every single bone down to the floor and release. The next time we're gonna stay up. Breathe out again, we roll up, 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 we stay. Press the feet down to the floor, lift the bottom up a little bit more, open the arms up to the side as we in breath. Exhale, inhale, expand the rib cage, but hug your center in. Exhale, hug your center a little bit more as you close the arms. In breath. Exhale, maintain the height of the pelvis at all time. And yes, your leg muscles are working, they need to work out. Exhale. What are your feet doing? Make sure the feet are pressing down as you lift the pelvis up. And two more. One more. Hold the arms there. And let's roll the spine right down to the floor. And release. Take the arms over the head here. You can release the fingertips here for the hundredth breath. Inhale, the arms float up. Press the arms down as you curl the chest up. Gaze to your thigh or to your belly. Make sure you see the abdominals engaged. I don't see that belly popping up, but instead scooping in as your arms keep reaching forward. The arms float up. Return your chest back down to the floor. The arms float up to the sky. And we press the arms. We curl up. Inhale, lifting and floating the arms up and return yourself back to the floor. Again, the arms come up. We curl the chest forward. In breath, the arms float up and return yourself back down to the floor two more times. And press. In breath, lifting, lengthening up and coming down. Again, arms, press. In breath, lifting and back down. And exhale, lift and let's stay here. Keep those arms actively reaching towards the feet. Lift one leg up to the tabletop. Tiptoe the other foot off the floor. Add the leg changes here. Pull in the belly and we switch the leg. As you switch the leg, now I want you to move the leg from the hip joint and keep the pressure of the abdominal inward towards the floor. Lengthen the lower back down to the floor. Reaching the tailbone and sitting bone towards the feet side. Over to the other side. We got three. Three. Two. One. Both legs up, up to tabletop. Release the arms up. And release the head down, arms overhead, circle the arms up to the T position, press the arms down, spine to supine to me first as we in breath. Exhale, come back to center. To you as we in breath. Exhale, come back to center. The thigh bone stays together at all time. And the arms stay down at all time. The shoulders are anchored down to the floor as well. You move the leg as one unit and keep the knees side by side and make sure they don't sway away from each other and come back. Now here, float the arms off the floor. Right, you can go into slight diagonal here and let's continue spine to supine and press. I want you to anchor the shoulders down here as you rotate. In breath, we twist from the waist. Exhale. In breath, we twist, exhale. One more each side, a little bit more challenging because we lose, we lost that balance, the base actually. 
and we need to balance more and settle it down. Okay, lower one foot down, second leg down, stretch the arms up to the sky, stretch the legs long on the floor, turn the palms facing each other, the arms float up. Lifting the head and the chest up into your roll up here. Curl up, rounding the back here. Now lifting the spine right up and pull the arms back for four, three, two, one. Round the spine forward, arm comes forward into your C curve. Then we rotate the pelvis back, keep reaching the legs away from the pelvis and take the arms overhead. And repeat, arms, float the head and the chest up, rounding up and over to the C curve. Then we lengthen the spine, we float the arms up, we pull the arms back. Allow the shoulder blade to glide down into the lower spine and keep the spine reaching up to the sky. One more with the arm pull back, rounding forward, rolling back, and take the arms overhead. One last one, the arms come up, and the chest lift, and exhale, pull into your belly as you bring yourself over to your pelvis. We we'll lift and lift and lift, we pull back, we pull back, two more, last one, we grow tall, we go into the C curve and we roll back just to the chest lift position. Bend the knees, drag the legs, grab the knees with the hands. Bend the elbow, curl the chest a little higher. Now, release the pelvis, do not grip in the hip. Scoop deep into the abdominal for the double leg stretch. We inhale, we reach. Circle the arms. Inhale, we reach. And circle the arms. Inhale, reach out like a boomerang. Can we reach your arm as far back as you can? Maintain the height of the chest, though. Counteract the lift and the arm pull. And two more. A little bit more challenging with the weighted arm here. And we stay. Press down to your shin. Press the feet down. Curl the chest up. And let's roll up. Open the knees, lift the chest, expand the back and bring the legs together, rolling like a ball. Let's bring the hands lower to your ankle side. Feet float off the floor, guard the legs with the arms, curl your tail and down, let's go. We roll back, in breath, exhale, and in breath. I want you to be still with your legs. Meaning, we do not fling the legs away as you roll back. Maintain the shape at all time and use those arm muscles to press the leg in. And press the feet to your bottom and back. Two more times, feet to the bottom. Last one here and ta-da. Travel your hands towards the knee side, lift the legs up a tiny bit more. We're gonna roll down gracefully and here we go. We roll back, roll back, roll back, roll back. Show I'm, I'm crooked. I'm going to try to fix myself in the middle. There we go. Right. Arms long by the side. Straighten the leg. Guess what? The hundred. So here we go. Inhale. Left. Exhale. We pump. And inhale. Now here. Exhale. Bend the knees. Inhale. Straighten the leg to an appropriate height for you. And we stay. And inhale. Exhale, bend the knees. Inhale, straighten the legs up to the sky. And exhale, stay. And inhale. And exhale, bend the knees. And inhale, straighten the legs. And stay. And exhale, bend the knees. And inhale, straighten the legs. And again. And exhale, bend the knees. I think this is the last set. And inhale, straighten the legs. 
and exhale. Shh, shh. And exhale, bend the knees. And inhale, straighten the legs. And stay. We bend, we grab the shin, we curl up on the last drip and abdominal strength. Roll up, roll up, roll up. Ah, and open up the chest. Expand the back, open the knees. We need that, <laughs> or oh, I need it to stretch my abdominal and release. All right, straight legs, back support we go. Heels in line with the sit bone here again and fingertips pointing to your bottom or to the side. Chest is open, your spine is straight. Here we go. We press up, neck is supported and long, folding of the hip and the shoulder and exhale. Hinging down and back is straight. And, and try to refrain yourself from curling up and down, but I wanted to just go up with a straight back and just folding at the hip. So engage the back muscle, push up with the arms, lower. One more, engage the back muscle, push up, 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 and lower and release. Now if you have the arm, if you have the bangles in the wrist, I want you to take it off and transfer them to your ankle. If you do not have one, not a problem. Just bear with me as I go into a little costume change. Okay? All right, here we go. Shoulder bridge, please. Bend the knees, arms up forward. We roll back gracefully. Take yourself all the way down to the floor. Hands down, sort out your feet. Bring them closer towards the pelvis here. Right, take an in breath. Pelvic curl, we roll it up, up, up. Press the arms down. Now I want you to press the right foot down to the floor and lift the right hip up. Lift the left heel up. Take it up to the sky, stretch it out. Shoulder bridge, we go down, flex. Exhale, exhale, and press the arms down so you can push the chest up. Two more, last one, we stay, we hold. Open the legs slightly to the side. Whoa, the abdominal have to work. And two, and center, three, Four, five, one last. We point, we bend, we lower the foot down. We establish a pelvis position. Make sure you are even in the hip joint. Press the left foot down, lift the left hip up. Float the right leg up. Straighten up. We go. Kick, kick. Four, five, three more, four, and last one, we stay, press up, open, and close, two, close, three, stabilize the center. I'm trying so hard not to fall over here as I open my leg out, so I'll hack you to do the same. One more, and Bring it in, point, bend the knee, take it down, press the hips up, roll the spine right down. Brilliant. Take the arm closer to me or the screen overhead, straighten the bottom leg too, turn yourself, face me. Come up onto your forearm, we're gonna do some leg work, bottom knee bend, tripod stand, press the forearm down, lift the underneath side here, all right, so we're not sinking down. Okay, now, long spine, proud chest. Lift the top leg up. Make sure the heel is in line with the sit bone here, so not too far forward or not too far back. And lift, and lift, and three, and four, and five, six, seven, Last one, it's stay. Now we bend the knee, heel still in line with the sit bone, and we straight it out. Like a little bow and arrow, you pull in 
and you press out. But make sure when you pull the knees in, we do not sink as well. We need to stay long and stable and allow the leg to move by itself. We fold in and extend. Imagine there's a little string or elastic band attached from the heel to the sitting bone. We're gonna resist the elastic band and we're gonna push and stretch it out. And now lost count. I think we've got two more. And then reach out. Last one. And then we stay, side kick forward. Reach. And reach. And two more set. Legs getting tired. Last set. How are you going? And we stay. Stretch the upper, the top arm away. We lower them. And we lift. Slide internally in the hip joint. The leg is now slightly further back behind the pelvis. And left. Five. Three more. Two. One. And bring it back to center. Bring it in. Ooh, little hammer in the bottom, please. And then let's come up. Oh, other side, please. Okay. So same thing. Tripod, forearm stand. Stretch the top leg, bend the bottom knee. Lifting the underneath side. Okay. Heel aligned with a sitting bone. We'll lift. Two. Three. Normally the second side is a little bit more challenging because the supporting side has already worked. You can feel that glute throbbing. At least I can feel it. And three more. Two. One, we stay, little bend and stretch out. And two, remember the elastic band that is attached from the heel to the sitting bone. I want you to still have that elasticness as you bend the knee. So we do not collapse, resist and stretch out. Two more, resist and stretch out. Last one, resist. And then let's go kick forward. Exhale, reach. Exhale, reach. And inhale. Three more. It's getting heavy. And back. Two more. And last. And stay back. Release the top arm. Reach diagonally. Lower the leg for a moment. And lift. Again, slight internal rotation at the hip joint. Lift. Again, do not collapse. Push off the floor with the arm. And three, the leg is back behind the pelvis. Two more. Last one. Ooh. And bring it back to the middle. Bring it in. And a little hammer, please, at least for me. All right, now let's go into a quadruped because we've got more leg work. Okay, forearm, not forearm. On your hands, quadruped position, please. All right, now you may choose to have your knees down on this with these exercises, or you can join me and have your knees up. So let's prepare ourselves. We're gonna push the floor away, strong arm. We're gonna make sure the dimple of the arm, the armpit, the elbows are falling, are facing to each other here. Rotate the armpit forward slightly here. Now broaden the shoulder, lifting up your center. Pull up that natural corset of yours and float the knee off. Now here, left leg up, point the foot and we'll lift up. So hip extension with a knee bend. Again, you may choose to do this with a knee on the floor. Absolutely fine. Lift and lift. Three more. Lift. Two more. Lift. Last here, lift and lower the foot down and lower the knee down for a second and push off again. We got the other leg, we point. We lift and lift. Roll in the back, open the chest. That's a three and four and five. Three more, six, two here. Last, hang on there, bring it in. Foot down and release. We've got more. Float the knees up. 
Take the right, the left foot up, extend back, bring it in, and exhale, change my breathing. Let's go, inhale out, exhale in, inhale out, little knee stretch with flat back, and four more, three, two, one, bring it in, bring it down, lower the knee, and we float up again, press up, and float the leg up, out, exhale, exhale, and three, and four, and five, three, more, two, one, bring it in, bring it down, good job, release the ankle, cat stretch, round back, <sighs> curling, 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 and lengthen the spine, extend the upper back and come up into that extension, arch position, rounding, lengthening, and extending, and two more, rounding, push the floor away, with your hands and your legs, lengthening, extending the back, one more, press the floor away, flattening, extending the back, can flat, okay, time to go to our belly, straight legs, back extension, here we come, arms along by the side, legs are together, like a mermaid or merman tail. Now, engage the leg muscle, lengthening the chest up, reaching the arms long as we in breath. And exhale, come on down. Three more, inhale. And exhale. And lifting, upper back, middle back, arms along to your imaginary side pockets. Last one, and send your tailbone down to your feet as you lift the back up and stay. Now float the legs here. Let a swimming leg here for me, guys. Inhale, exhale. So paddle from the hip joint, and keep the spine reaching in opposite direction. And your legs are nice and straight. No bending at the knee. Movement comes from the hip joint, not from your lower back. Your lower back is active, reaching away and oppositely from the legs. Inhaling, four, five, exhaling, around five. Inhale, sometimes we count to three, four. Exhale, last one here. Exhale, and release. Bring the arms forward, push down in the forearm, lift the back up for our single leg kick, please. Elbow slightly wide in the shoulder, prop yourself up. Strong in your center, neck is long. Float the legs off. Let's go right leg, left, and inhale, and inhale, and exhale, and exhale, and inhale, and, and. Two more set. Last set, and. And we stretch the legs long, just lower the chest, bend the knees, circle the arms at back, grab the ankles, rocking prep, here we come, lower the head for a second, and unlock my elbows, so I'm not hyperextending, and let's go, curl the tailbone under, lift the thigh, lift the back, straighten the knees, lift everything up, and come back down. Again, inhaling, rolling upward, reaching the thigh up, straightening the knee, and come back down. Again, in breath, lifting, reaching, straightening, lift up more. And last one, make this the best one yet, and lifting. Lifting, reaching, elongating, be free, and come back. Okay, release the legs, arms to the side of the shoulder, forearm, push the floor away, curling the tail, and just open the legs slightly wider than the pelvis this time, rounding the tailbone under, and just sitting your pelvis 
inside the legs and stay in breath and exhale and in breath let's just breathe sometimes we forget to breathe I mean, we do breathe, but I'm saying intentionally breathing. Long breath. One more. Inhale. Good job. And we gradually, easily roll the spine up, 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 up. And sitting nice and tall. Wow. Well done. Thank you for joining me today. And thank you, Perk is Active, for these cute little bangles. Definitely work us a lot today, isn't it? All right. Well, thank you for joining me again. And I'll see you back on the mat tomorrow. Take care. Well done on completing this class, Your Star. I'm Mira, and I'm here to help you to love look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free six day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This six day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow With Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.